So the effect of disease prevalence on predictive values. Uh, the best way is to having an example. Let's say there is a village which has a population of 2,000 people and a diagnostic test. Uh, usually tests are pretty good, like 90% sensitive and 90% specific. In this case, uh, the positive and negative predictive values will vary when the prevalence of the disease is varied. Let's see what does this mean with an example. So here, let's say in this case, uh, it does, to some it's all 2,000, 2,000 uh, population. However, the disease have 1,000, no disease are 1,000. So this is a prevalence of 50% in that case. While the other cases, disease are a little rare, that disease is a 200 out of 2,000, so 10% have disease, the other 90% do not have a disease. So the prevalence will be a 10%. In these two different cases, let's calculate the predictive values. So um, if there's a lot of disease, like half of the population has this disease, uh, then if you calculate PPV, meaning that, hey, I, I, I got a positive, how much am I really have? The disease is almost 90% hey, you've got sure you almost have the disease. And what about negative predictive value? So this is also out of negative. I have no disease is 900, which means almost 90% are negative, which means, oh, you can be feel safe that you've got negative result, that you will not have the disease. So that's one, but on the other hand, prevalence of 10%, so it's relatively kind of rare in this case, then what's the PPV is out of positive. Um, you have the disease is almost the same. So PPV is a 50%, which means when disease is a 10% prevalence, even if you've got test results as positive, the chance of you really getting the disease is only about 50%. What about negative? If disease is rare and prevalence is low, then negative predictive values out of this, this is almost 99%. So very uh, pre low prevalence. If you got negative result, you can be almost for sure that you won't have the disease. Does it make sense? So uh, these uh, left panel as a high prevalence, then PPV and NPV will be similar to sensitivity and specificity in this case because this sensitivity and specificity is uh, like 90% and 90%. Uh, however, low prevalence case, the positive predictive value decreases. So when rare case of disease, even if you've got positive result, like you don't have to worry that much until you've got further tests, okay? Does it make sense? And if you got negative, for sure you don't have the disease. Okay, so uh, like this is uh, kind of similar, but uh, I have three types of uh, prevalence of 10%. Let's say like a diabetes in a case. And let's say we have an instrument having a sensitivity of 99%, which means if you have a disease, 99% will catch. So you won't miss that disease much and specificity is 90%, which is when you do not have a disease, yeah, you are likely to having negative uh, result 90% of the case. So what are the PPV value? So if disease prevalence is 10% in this case, uh, negative predict is almost 100, positive prevalence is, if you calculate it, out of this positive disease prevalence, is 53%. So let's say like diabetes, we know that 10% of populations are diabetes and you've got test and you're positive, but don't worry too much. Only you, about 53% of chance, you will actually have the diabetes. So uh, second one, I, I'm gonna skip for the time, but let's think about prevalence of very low, like 0.1% of population got the disease. Uh, for example, like uh, 
uh, HIV, which is very low in South Korea. So let's say I took the test of HIV test and oh my gosh, I got positive HIV result for this first test. So how much should I be worried about this? Okay, so in this case, like high sensitivity and specificity test, what's my positive predictive value, which is out of this sum divided by disease present, which is only about 1%. So even if I got HIV positive in this country, let's say HIV uh, prevalence is only 0.1%, then don't worry too much. Even if you got positive, the positive predictive value is only 1%. Only 1% of chance you actually has HIV. So don't worry about much, but if you got negative, almost 100% sure. So does it make sense? So with this, I made a homework for you. Um, so this is uh, created by me that using this uh, decision matrix and all the parameters we are given, assuming that sensitivity and specificities are constant, then how can you uh, find out the relationships between um, uh, sensitivity, specificity, and a parameter as a prevalence. See, prevalence should be between zero to one. Then I want you to express true positive, false positive, true negative, false negative in terms of function of sensitivity, specificity, and prevalence, and all, all means like all this sum. And also, I want you to consider about positive and negative predictive values in terms of sensitivity, specificity, and disease prevalence. And the third is the question that what would happen about your predictive values if prevalence is very low or high? How does this affect the cost of your test? Okay, so you can spend some time and here's the answer for you. Um, and one thing you'll realize is uh, having different values of sensitivity and specificity, I plot positive predictive value and negative predictive values. Okay, thank you for your attention.